Well, next speaker is uh, Senator Anthony Portentino, again. <laughs> well, again, it's, a, it's an honor. I remember when I was a council member in La Cañada speaking here probably 20 years ago for the first time. It's always great to be here. And uh, since I was here, I wanted to pass out the letter that I sent to the Americana in regards to the um, denial of the advertisement. So I thought I would share that personally with the city council. If there's a copy for everybody, if I could, I don't know which to distribute. And uh, just that I share with you the concerns for not advertising a movie on a historical fact that the state of California recognizes, so I thought it appropriate to wade in. So there's my letter, and God bless you for your mission. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next speaker is uh, Armin Hovanesian, followed by uh, Nora Yakubian. Good evening, council members and members of the public. My name is uh, Armin K. Hovanesian. I'm a direct descendant <coughs> of hundreds of victims and a handful of survivors of the Armenian genocide. I appear tonight in my capacity as a former chairperson and a current uh, board member of the Armenian Bar Association. I also have the distinct honor and pleasure of serving as the chairperson of the Armenian Bar's Armenian Genocide Reparations Committee. What we are witnessing with Caruso's and the, uh, and the Americana's promiscuous use of phrases describing education, arts, and outreach about the Armenian Genocide as being too political as being too confrontational and too controversial. What we are raising our voices against, what we're tilting our pens against, what we're bracing our backbones against, what we tr trust is not lost on any one of you. And what is playing out is the most dangerous and the most devious form of Armenian genocide denialism. On your watch, on our watch indeed, in front of our noses, in front of your noses, in facially appeasing language, Caruso and Americana have engaged in repugnant relativism, in reprehensible false <laughs> equivalences. And of all things, they have cloaked this charade and the protections afforded to the citizens of the United States under the, under the United States Constitution. We ask that you, members of the Glendale City Council, continue to do the right thing, and that you turn away from the very easy draw of these very shallow, shallow rhetorical devices. Only yesterday, in a letter that I'm sure you have seen, the executive vice president of the Caruso operations, Jackie Levy, dated again August 14th, made things a whole lot worse. Rather than perhaps saying that applicable municipal regulations and ordinances prohibit uh, their display of off-site advertising, including ads for the documentary Architects of Denial. And leaving it just at that, the executive vice president, with the, with the ordination of Mr. Caruso himself, certainly couldn't resist the temptation, couldn't resist the temptation of foisting on all of, it, uh, on all of us the fallacy of even-handedness. Instead of just saying, geez, guys, we wish we could, but we can't because there's a law against it. They didn't say that. He swooped in, and he moved in for the, for the kill. In these sweeping claims, he concluded that allowing for the advertisement of the architects of denial would compromise the neutral and impartial quality of their properties, that they prohibit advertisements concerning political issues, that the Turkish government's denialist views were given full faith and credit by the Caruso properties. And most troubling of all, he concluded his August 14th letter, and give me one more minute, please. He said, in today's complicated world, our company, read between the lines and, and within the words, feel strongly that the Americana at brand must continue to be a place where people from all walks of life feel comfortable regardless, regardless of their views on any number of issues. Perhaps the white supremacists and neo-Nazis who gathered, descended upon, and disrupted Charlottesville, Charlottesville Virginia <coughs> that, that Council Member Sinanyan just talked about would have given, been given the welcome at, at Caruso Properties. 30 more seconds, please. 
if I may, ask your indulgence. In one fell swoop, Caruso has denigrated the ethnic history of a majority of the members of the city council. He and his companies have derided the post-genocide pain and suffering of a plurality of this city's citizens and he has insulted the decency of a multitude of members of this community, non-Armenian American members, several of whom sit on the dais in front of me. We ask the council to do four things, real quickly. One. If you wrap it up, please, I would appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor. That n number one, Mayor, and then may I then direct this directly to you. I would ask that you Mayor Karpetian, publicly disavow and distance yourself, and especially the city council, from Caruso's demeaning rationalizations that are demand from Caruso and deliver to the public an open apology for their reckless manipulation of Armenian history, that you all revisit all contracts with the Caruso and companies to see what type of gratuities have been, gi been given and reconsideration given, and to put into place or facilitate variances so not only that film, but education and outreach and arts about the genocide, be at the, be at the Americana. Lastly, in one sentence, we also encourage Caruso and the Americana to make amends with the Armenian community, which forms the bedrock of their customer base. Without that community, without that community refueling the Caruso machine day after day, night after night, transaction after transaction, Armenian man after Armenian woman after Armenian child, that happiest place on earth in Glendale, California, will no longer be so. The eclipse is coming. Thank you. Next speaker is Nora Yakubian. Hello, my name is Nora Yakubian. I too am a former, uh, I too am a descendant of uh, genocide survivors. I'm a former teacher in the city of Glendale and I taught about all genocides uh, along with the Armenian genocide, the Holocaust, what happened in Rwanda. I also serve on the board of YMCA. I'm very active and very proud to be a bridge builder uh, with the Armenian American community and the very vibrant American community. Censorship is wrong, and that's what makes our country so great, not tolerating censorship. More wrong is when censorship is exercised in silencing the truth. In this case, it is additionally insulting to the large Armenian American population in Glendale, which the Americana benefits from every single day. I strongly urge our distinguished city council members and all of you in Glendale to pass a resolution calling on Caruso to end its censorship. Let us tell our story with the truth and the dignity that it deserves. Thank you for your time. Next speaker is Mike Mohill. Followed by Carol Ruschak. <coughs> Good evening, council members. My name is Mike Mohill. I was disappointed to learn that the film producers of the documentary Architects of Denial was denied billboard space at the Americana by the marketing company Outfront Media, which handles the billboard spaces for the Americana at brand. The proposed advertisement were rejected by Caruso management for being too political probably too political because the local Turkish lobby is constantly fighting to prevent any positive information about the Armenian genocide, a genocide by the Turkish government against the Armenian people back in 1914. <clears throat> There's an old saying in politics that politics makes strange bedfellows. Back before the American was opened in 2008, the Armenian community the Armenian National Committee, Councilman Bob Yosefian, Councilman Rafi Manukian, all promoted the Americana at Brand Shopping Center because they felt the shopping center would be good for all the people of Glendale. Again, if it was not for the strong support by these groups, 
and individuals, probably the Armenian, the American ad brand would not have been built. Glendale taxpayers put up a $48 million bond, that's $48 million bond to help build the American ad brand, not the government of Turkey. Mr. Caruso, had the world strongly condemned Turkey for the genocide back in 1915, then perhaps my people would not have been put into gas chambers by Adolf Hitler in 1939. A Holocaust that put to death six million innocent people who practiced the Jewish religion. First they came for the socialist. I did not speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, but I didn't speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not Jewish. Then they came for me, and there was no one left to speak for me. Mr. Caruso, let the billboard advertisement for the movie Architect of Denial proceed. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mohill. Uh, Carol? Um. Sure. Good evening, council members. My Good name evening. is Carol Bruchet, and I'm representing Northwest Glendale Homeowners Association. Um, <clears throat> the board at last night's meeting is very concerned about the proliferation of unwanted furniture that is being put on the parkways <coughs> and sidewalks. At our meeting last night, we voted to ask the city for notices to be put in the next utility bills about the free bulky item pickups. We also asked if this could be put in several languages so that the public knows that they can call for free bulky item pickups. In addition, we would like to have the banner, like the one that I have passed out to you, that is now on the pedestrian bridge uh, by Glendale College, that it could possibly be put at Kenneth Village on Kenneth Street. There, is, there are poles on either side of the street, so banners can be attached. Um, you've seen the photos there. Um, so that's why I'm here, hoping something can be done to help stop trash being put on the sidewalks. So that's all I have to say on that subject. But as long as I'm here, I'd like to add that our annual meeting will be held on September 27 up at Brand Auditorium, and our guest speaker will be new council member Brej Agajanian. So we hope everyone will come. Thank you. Thank you. I have no more cards. Oh, no, there's one more. Suja Carl. Okay. Okay, Suzanne Jerkel, please. Jerkel. Suja Carl. Sue. Sue. Is she outside. Put her name in there and left. Yeah, we okay. have the card. You're going to go with. She's coming? Oh, she is, yeah. Hello. My name is Susan Jacaro, and I live at 1841 Tamerlane Drive in Glendale. And I'm sorry to interrupt. It's kind of like a, a big thing. But I just wanted to say that um, GUSD, all the schools are starting tomorrow. I wanted to ask everyone to be super safe. We have a couple drop-off problems for, for people, but um, I have a student going to Wilson Middle School, and tomorrow from 4 to 8 p.m. at Chipotle, we're having a Dining for Dollars event. So we're hoping people will come in and just mention Wilson Middle School, and we get 50% back, which would be awesome. I know, sorry, I ran in here. Everyone's uh, short on money and stuff like that, but uh, especially schools, we need as much um, assistance for the schools as possible, and I would really, really, really appreciate your help. Also, the World Police and Fire Games are going on. We still need volunteers, so just Google it. Okay, thank you, that's it. 
Anything? Do you have any questions? Got your Chipotle breath. on, on um, right there, like Glendale? OK, great. Thanks. Thank you. Next speaker is Ag Agnesa Kusumian, followed by Robert Bunyatian, followed by Tatevik Makarchen. Hello, I'm Agnesa Kasumian. I'm a student at USC and a former student ambassador of the city council. As a student, I frequent Americana's coffee bean multiple times a week to study for exams. I've become a regular and I'm now even well acquainted with many of the baristas. I was a staunch supporter of the Americana complex, calling it a positive, welcoming space in Glendale, much to the dismay of my more hipster friends who say it's too crowded and mainstream. Yet when Crusoe Affiliated decided to reject an ad for Architects of Denial, a documentary about the Armenian Genocide, stating that they want to ensure everyone in the community feels welcome, I no longer felt welcome myself, neither as an Armenian nor as a human being. The genocide isn't about politics or business. It, is about, it isn't about race or ethnicity or making others feel welcome or unwelcome. Do you think, Mr. Caruso, that the victims of the Armenian Genocide felt welcome as they were being dragged across the Syrian desert, forced to watch as their loved ones were raped, murdered, and stripped of all human dignity before their eyes? Do you think that countless Armenians who live in Glendale, the second Armenia, who shop and are residents of your establishment will now feel welcome? You put your name on a church, Mr. Caruso, yet you allowed the block of an ad about a genocide committed against Christian <laughs> populations. Our community made the Americana in Glendale possible when we voted yes on Measure ABC, granting Caruso affiliated $77.1 million of public funds to construct the Americana. We acted in good faith, yet your recent actions show complete lack of corporate citizenship and partnership with our community. The Armenian Genocide, like the Holocaust, like the Rwandan Genocide, like the Bosnian Genocide, like the Cambodian Genocide, like the Syrian and Greek Genocides, like the Yazidi Genocide, is a historical fact. These horrific events are not up for debate. I'd like to know, would you deny a Holocaust or Rwandan or Bosnian Genocide ad from running? I highly doubt it. What makes the genocidal crimes committed against Armenians so different? By blocking the genocide ad from running in the Americana, you are essentially trying to silence our voice to prevent us from educating the general population about how and why genocides occur. This inadvertently makes you a contributor and an accessory to denial. This makes you an architect of denial yourself. But your actions don't discourage us and they don't break us. On the contrary, they have made us stronger, more unified, and even more inspired to speak out against deniers, perpetrators, and against those who would like the world to so conveniently forget the events of 1915. But we won't be silenced. For city council to do nothing would be tantamount to the perpetuation of denial. Therefore, I encourage the city council to act accordingly and appropriately. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, Robert Bunyatian. Robert is not here. Tatevik Mukherjee. Followed by Garo Azarian. Uh, good evening, council members and Mayor Harapetian. Uh, my name is Tatevik Mukherjee, and I'm intern at ANCL Glendale. I would like to give you a short overview on the film that is the epicenter of our dispute. Architects of Denial is a documentary film produced by Dean Kane and Monta Williams, which depicts the mass exterminations that took place during Armenian genocide, which remains unrecognized by Turkish and American governments. The film is composed of testimonials, insights provided by survivors and eyewitnesses, as well as expert historian analysis. They emphasize the connection between atrocities committed in the past and the crimes against humanity that continue to occur in our world today. We would like to highlight the fact that the, this film aims to educate the public that the mere act of denying historical facts allows such crimes against humanity to be perpetuated. Thus, the architects of denial is of ultimate significance for the Armenian community as, is, as it addresses the occurrences of American genocide. The denial of advertisement of these films equates to the denial of Armen Armenian genocide. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Garo Azarian. Um, 
Okay. Flora Adamian. Followed by Marina Manukian. Hello, Council. It's a little ridiculous that I have to say this, but it seems the Caruso management lacks logical <laughs> reasoning. So just to remind everyone, the Armenian genocide is a historical fact, which the city of Glendale, the Los Angeles County, the state of California, and 46 other US states have recognized and commemorate every year. The stance taken by Americana's management to silence this documentary film makes them an accomplice to the denial campaign perpetuated by the Turkish government and Turkish lobby. To refuse the advertisement of a film focused on genocide denial and to justify this decision by calling the advertisement too political is to directly participate in and perpetuate this campaign of denial. These are not politics. These are facts. It is not political, but rather a proven fact that denial is the last stage of genocide. We must be vigilant in our fight against these dangerous revisions and false interpretations of our history to ensure that future crimes against humanity are prevented and to stop the re-traumatization of a group that has never had closure. Furthermore, to attempt to deny the Armenian genocide as a historical fact is also to deny a proud chapter in American history. <coughs> when Americans from every state and city came to rescue the Armenian people between 1915 and 1923. Through the first US congressionally sanctioned humanitarian organization, the Near East Relief, which raised over $2.8 billion in today's funds, rescuing over 132,000 orphans, risking their lives as they participated in their rescue mission, traveling land and sea. Let us continue the cause of American humanitarianism. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, Marina Manukian, followed by Artin Manukian. No relation. Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council, my name is Marina Manukian. I am a resident of Glendale, and I'm also a descendant of two Armenian genocide survivors. I'm here to speak to you about Americanet Brand's denial of advertising space for the documentary called Architects of Denial. I am personally insulted as a Glendale resident with the management's position on this. It is like saying that a movie about the Holocaust, such as Schindler's List, is too political to advertise at the Americana. And in denying that kind of advertisement space, they're affecting more than almost half of the population of this city. I view the Americana as an organization that's been in and is still in partnership with the city of Glendale. In 2004, it was the residents of the city of Glendale that voted to pass Measure ABC. With that, the Americana got funding that helped build what it is today. And when you visit the Americana, when my kids go to the Americana all the time, you see how many of our residents use the space, go to the restaurants, use the stores, purchase from the stores. So the Americana has essentially taken what they want from our city, and now, when our city is requesting them to stand up for justice, they're refusing. I find this morally repugnant. In the country we live in right now, with what we're facing across the country, for an organization to refuse to stand up for justice is not acceptable. And I'm asking the city of Glendale to condemn this position to pass a resolution to urge the Americana to change this position and allow the billboard to be used for advertising the documentary for Architects of Denial. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Artin Manukian, followed by Fatil Derderian. Honorable council members, city staff, my name is Artin Manukian. I, live, I have lived over 30 years in this jewel city, and I'm a proud business owner in the city of Glendale. Today I stand before you, not just as a citizen, but also representing the Armenian National Committee of America's Glendale chapter, a grassroots organization that has been active in the city of Glendale in over 40 years. Never ever did I anticipate it to make a presence in front of the Glendale City Council for being insulted in my own backyard by the same people that are where they are today because of my yes vote on Measure ABC in 2004. 
and my tax money that gave away the land that they built their empire on. Today, my outrage is not just as an individual, but on behalf of tens of thousands of residents in the city who spent decades turning around cultural differences into beauty, beautiful mosaic of diversity. Resident of a city who has been officially commemorating the same genocide that Americana's management is even withholding itself from using the word. I am talking on behalf of tens of thousands of residents of a city whose public schools are closed on April 24th, the day of remembrance, the day of the commemoration of the Armenian genocide. Please understand that we respect Americana's right as a business to refuse or decline the placement of any advertising. But to do so while labeling the Armenian genocide as too political, that is unacceptable. Americana's response is a clear demonstration of the fact that Americana itself has become a despicable architect of denial itself. We cannot allow this to go on. We do not want to see our jewel city turn into another Charlottesville. Hate, injustice, and denial have no room in our jewel city. The abominable stand of Americana's management has to be condemned by the city council. And furthermore, Caruso affiliated and Mr. Caruso himself has to apologize for the insensitivity and complete disregard of the community by some of its employees. It is about time that Americana and Caruso affiliated educated themselves about the people that they patronize their businesses, who rent or buy their properties, who spend their hard-earned dollars year around. On behalf of the ANCA Glendale chapter, as well as of tens of thousands of our members and friends, I demand that the city council adopts a resolution condemning Americana's management conduct and any and all statements that question the Armenian genocide. It is about time that the corporate sector stops enjoying the free rights and start taking social responsibility that go above the beyond trolley trips or rides, movies on the lawn, or beautiful snowfalls, which technically are mere marketing tools. <clears throat> I would like to remind the management of Americana that it takes years to rebuild the reputation, but just minutes to ruin it. And remind our respectable council members that as Molière said it, it is not only for what we do that we are held responsible, but also for what we do not do. Thank you. Thank By the you. way, uh, I would like to invite all of you to our press conference that we're going to hold on Thursday at 11 o'clock on, this, uh, on the public space, on the green of Americana. Uh, we would like to be there to show your solidarity. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Monikian. Next speaker is Patil Derderian, followed by Colette Simonian. Honorable Mayor, Council Members, and City Staff. My name is Patil Derderian, and I'm here to address the recent developments in Glendale, <coughs> including Americana's rejection of billboard space to an Armenian genocide film. Glendale is a diverse city, and each sector of the city deserves its rightful representation without hindering the exposure of one sector to the other. Crusoe affiliated rejected the advertisement space, claiming to have done so to endure that everyone to ensure that everyone in the community feels welcome. On the contrary, allowing the advertisement space is the ultimate way to ensure proper and rightful representation is maintained within the diverse community of Glendale. Moreover, it is important to remember that Caruso affiliated accepted and benefited from $77 million of public funds in constructing the Americana, and in return, refuses to benefit the public interest. Rather than ensuring the maintenance of public interest in being actively informed about humanitarian and factual issues as the Armenian genocide, it has politicized the factual and humanitarian nature of this matter. Ultimately, provided that Caruso Affiliated has benefited from public funds, it is not proper to discriminate based on content, whether that be political or factual in nature. Americana's discriminatory conduct is not an appropriate conduct acceptable in a place of public accommodation, especially in a diversified city as the city of Glendale. We ask that appropriate remedial measures be taken accordingly. Thank you. Thank you. 
<coughs> Colette Simonian. Followed by Alex Wu. Followed by Lilith Bazikian. Good evening, council members and Mayor Garapetian. My name is Colette Simonian and I am an intern at ANCA Glendale, also here to voice my concerns regarding this issue about the, Armin the Americana billboard. We do not view the Americana at brand as just another shopping mall, but as a good faith partnership between the city's diverse constituency and Crusoe affiliated. Now in 2004, when Mes Measure ABC passed, it passed with a 51% yes vote, allocating $77.1 million of public funds and free land to the building of the Americana at brand. Without the vote of confidence and approval from the community of Glendale, this project wouldn't have been possible in the first place. Walking by the seating area outside Nordstrom and Americana, you will see Armenian parents and grandparents sitting with their children drinking coffee. Take a few steps past it to Pacific Theaters, and there will be a group of Armenian high schoolers buying tickets to see a movie. Now pass by the Cheesecake Factory, and you will see tables full of Armenian families and friends having dinner. Considering that the Americana at Brand thrives on Amer Armenian American commerce and received support from them to make its construction a reality, it is necessary that they remain sensitive to issues that are important to this community in return. Specifically, the Americana management's denial of billboard space for the historical documentary, Architects of Denial, serves as a testament to their reluctance to give back, as well as their lack of contribution to their Armenian community's interests. Currently, the Americana at Brand is not operating as a good faith partner. This shows a lack of corporate citizenship. We hope that the Americana at Brand reconsiders their decision so that we can look forward to a future of civil cooperation between the Americana and the residents of Glendale. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Alex Wood. Good evening, honorable council members and mayor. Uh, my name is Alex Wu. And I'm here before you tonight to voice my concerns, not only as a resident of Glendale, but as a Korean American who feels that the city of Glendale has to continue to be in the forefront of human rights issues and matters such as this is very troubling in this day and age. Our community has endured many atrocities where we were subjected to inhumane acts of violence and violations of human rights. The city, has, city was courageous enough to go through the installation of the Comfort Woman Peace Statue in 2013. The statue commemorates the wartime victims known as comfort women who were coerced into sexual slavery by the Japanese Imperial Army during World War II. The Glendale statue is one example of large-scale effort to raise international awareness of the comfort women's plight. We, as the residents of Glendale, need to urge Caruso affiliated to join the city in protection of human rights issue and to promote peace by acknowledging that the historical truth is the only way to build our healthy society and the fabric of our basic value. We need to stand together in protecting one's welfare, lifestyle, and dignity. Thus, I respectfully ask our elected representatives to condemn this behavior by the Americana brand and to pass a council resolution urging Caruso affiliated to allow proper placement of the advertisement. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Wu Lilith Bazikian, followed by Lena Bozoyan, followed by Malcolm Johnson. Good evening, council members and Mayor Garapetian. My name is Lilith Bazikian. I'm an intern at ANCA Glendale. I want to highlight the management of Americana's lack of incentive um, to adopt culturally sensitive policies. As it is well known, Armenian Americans make up a big portion of the population here in Glendale, and it is perplexing that the Americana at Brands Management failed to consider the sensitive sensitivity of this issue while making a decision regarding the genocide documentary film advertisement. The fact that this is not the first time um, an issue like this is occurring is even more mind boggling. In 2015, Americana management demanded that a vendor remove t-shirts with references to the Amer Armenian genocide from display. Although this issue was resolved after public outrage and Americana's management issued an apology, this, their rejection of the billboard space speaks their lack of sensitivity towards the Armenian population and again and again. Please, I urge you to take a stand against um, Crusoe affiliation and the Americana brand's management and urge them to reconsider their decision. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, Lena Bozoyan. Honorable Mayor, esteemed council member, staff. My name is Lena Bozoyan. 
a 30-year resident of Glendale, former commissioner of the city of Glendale, and a member of uh, many city committees, city organizations, both American and Armenian. I'm here tonight to raise my voice against the insensitive decision that Americana at Brand Management has taken to reject the billboard space for a film that calls out injustice of the world, namely the Armenian genocide and its architects of denial. I'm sure you're all witnessing the hate speeches and acts that tragically are being permitted nowadays in some parts of our nation. I repeat and underline, hate and denial are being permitted nowadays in America. Unfortunately, the haters and their backers are not being punished or held accountable. And I'm afraid if people nationwide do not raise their voices, hate and denial may be the norm of our country. I, along with many Glendale residents, are insulted, disgusted by the lack of insensitivity by the Americana management. And as you heard before, efforts of reaching an agreement has been neglected by Caruso affiliates. I'm sure if we do a survey with the vendors of Americana, most of them will join us in condemning this decision. Most of our community members, community members, visits, shops, wines and dines at Americana, and we really don't want to hurt the vendors, thus hurting our city's economic development. Knowing and working with most of you, I believe that if you are not sitting in, the, in that dais today, representing our community, you would join us in condemning this decision. You would be right here with us, raising your voices and concerns, and even protesting this injustice to our history and people. So I urge you to condemn this irresponsible behavior and hold the Americana management and leadership accountable so future decisions would be in inclusive to our cities and communities, culture, and values. So historical injustices would not be repeated. Genocide perpetrators like Turkey would not benefit from your silence. And above all, hate and denial would not, pre would not be permitted ever in our jewel city. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, Malcolm Johnson, followed by Karin Yekbarian. Honorable Council, my name is Malcolm Johnson, and I am not a descendant of the Armenian Genocide. I'm a grand, great great grandchild of slaves, and I'm a 15 year resident of this city. We are still dealing with the people and against governments who seek to deny the murder of 1.5 million Armenians. Denying the genocide is vile and has to be fought every time it rears its ugly head. This is why the film Architects of Desire was created to fight this lie. This is why the producers sought to advertise its release and get people in the theaters to see it. Of course, advertising for this film was denied. Now, in light of what happened in Charlottesville, I'm sure people will ask, why are a few ads such a big deal? Charlottesville was a big thing. This is a little thing. Why make such a fuss over a few ads? I can tell you that over the Americana, I doubt they were thinking they did anything wrong. We're just trying to stay out of trouble. That's all. We don't want any problems. Well, my friends here would beg to differ. Because you know what happened? You know what the Armeni people of the Armenia, uh, at the Ar Americana wound up doing? They gave life to a lie. They gave cover and permission for our, our genocide denial. Now, as I said, I'm not Armenian, but I can guess how the people in this room felt when the decision came down. Here we go again. How much did the Turk have to pay you to screw us over this time? The sad part is the Turks may not have had to pay a dime. Their reputation for strong arm tactics may have been enough to get the Arme Americana to buckle, you know, to avoid trouble. What the Americana forgot was this is our community. This is our city. If the Turks want to come and protest the Americana, they have to come to Glendale, California. To Glendale, California. Are you kidding me? Bring it on. I'm not angry at the Americana's decision. I'm disappointed. The Americana should have known that if they faced trouble from the Turkish lobby, we would have had their backs. For every one protesting the film, 10 Armenians would have been facing him down, along with me. Continuing to lie about the genocide, continuing to lie, deny that it happened, giving others cover for as a dishonor to dead is wrong. And it allows their killers to sleep comfortably. This is our town. This is Glendale. The last place on earth they should sleep comfortably is here. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, Garen Yechbayan.
followed by Ara Manukian. Mr. Mayor, members of council, um, I'm an out-of-towner visiting to comment on uh, the issue that you guys have been hearing about the last several, I don't know, I guess an hour now. Uh, the utterly inappropriate inaction, I suppose, taken by the Americana. But before I get into the heavy-duty stuff, just some levity. It seems every time, once every three, four years, I want to come before the Glendale City Council, there's something that my council has I want to address. It's an interesting coincidence. Um, I don't see any chuckles. OK, I'll keep my day job. Um, I distributed an article that I'd written on this issue. It has some of the points that I would have otherwise raised. So if you get a chance to eyeball it, it'll save a few seconds or a few minutes here. Um, I'm here to discuss the uh, arrogance and effrontery of the Americana Rick Caruso's property. I won't miss, mince words. I have very low tolerance for this kind of uh, obscenity. Okay, I'm here speaking as an Armenian, as someone who's involved in environmental issues, as a frequent bike rider, as a member of the 99%, and as a former Glendale resident. And hopefully, most of all, as a decent human being, which is what we need to address here. It's a matter of simple decency. You know the details and the history. I won't go into it, obviously. And you'll hear about it, I'm sure, here today even more. But by now, any decent, reasonable human being would have expected that that outfit a few blocks from here, where I have not set foot for many, many years with my own personal boycott, I'll explain why in a second, would have learned after the t-shirt incident of about three years ago. But no, ev evidently they didn't. But that's not all. There's been massive misrepresentation and inappropriate behavior, in my mind, by the Americana. As I mentioned, I'm a regular bike rider. I commute to work on my bike and to do other things as much as I can on a bicycle. That outfit that was supposed to be a paragon of urban living doesn't allow you to ride your bike in there. Obviously, it's tight. Obviously, it would need to be regulated. But no, the one time I tried to go in there, shortly after they opened, I was accosted by their security and basically shoot away. That's not a good thing to do. And then the encroachment on the park, the removal of the, of the, of the playground for the kids. That's also a matter of simple decency. We need open spaces in, in, in downtown areas. And yet, I guess it's more important to dump another cart on green space. That, that doesn't make sense to me. Mr. Caruso should really know better by now, if he has any decency. Given the Armenian community support, as was mentioned earlier 13 years ago. Again, simple human decency should have preempted, prevented, precluded an incident such as this. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. If I weren't such a talker, I'd be at a loss for words. Um, the city should take action. You'll have many suggestions. I'm sure you'll deliberate and come up with perhaps better ones. But you must lend your voice and your weight to remedying this situation, and once and for all. Okay. And if, at first, reason and decency don't prevail, then you should escalate. Make it miserable for anybody trying to go into that place by adjusting the traffic lights. Make it even more miserable for anybody trying to get out of there. And everyone should be boycotting this, not just Armenians, not just Glendalians. Any decent human being shouldn't set foot in that place until this situation is remedied with promises that it will never be repeated or anything like this will ever be repeated again. It, it, this is simple human decency. I keep repeating that word because I want to emphasize that that's all it is, <coughs> simple human decency. So Mr. Caruso should stop his billionaire bullying and act like a decent human being. And if none of these things work, we should escalate. We should first try to engage the stores that have rented space there to speak on all our behalf as decent business operations. Failing that, we should boycott them and their other locations because this sort of thing must not happen, not just in Glendale, but anywhere. Again, simple human decency demands that you act. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is Aram Manukian, followed by Pauline Pech Pechakjian. Mr. Mayor, members of City Council, my name is Aram Manukian. I'm a 20-year-old lifelong resident of the city of Glendale. Thank you for allowing me to take this opportunity to speak about this issue, an issue that transcends the Armenian-American community. 
It is highly unacceptable and deplorable that Mr. Caruso and his team at Caruso Affiliates equates the opinions of a foreign government, especially one with the most horrible and despicable human rights record, and in this case, even give more weight to than the overwhelming majority of Glendale residents and their values. How can Glendale voters, the same voters who allowed Mr. Caruso to come to our city, come and develop on city land and within city borders and create a revenue stream for himself, his family, and his associates, have their voice stifled by the Turkish consulate? Mr. Caruso's act of complacency to Turkey's denial campaign of the Armenian genocide is nothing short of disturbing and inexcusable. This is not about the rejection of a billboard advertisement, but the reasoning behind it that should concern all of us. When any foreign government is allowed to meddle in the business of Glendale, in Glendale, Glendale matters, in the future of Glendale, then in turn, this sets a dangerous precedent for all Glendaleans. This issue is bigger than the Armenian American community because regardless of your ethnic background, creed, race, social status, the basis of democracy is being questioned in a severe and worrisome manner right in the heart of downtown Glendale. It is ironic that the movie Architects of Denial is about the final stage of genocide and has made its point before its release. Never in my wildest dreams would I have imagined that in Glendale we would have to fight against genocide denial of this magnitude. Mr. Caruso has spat in the face of the Armenian American community, has spat in the face of all Glendale residents, and more importantly, spat in the face of the values that Glendale holds dear. Mr. Caruso needs to understand that if he plans to have a future in this city, he and his team need to take all appropriate measures to apologize and remedy the situation and actually make an effort to serve all the diverse residents of this city. We have no place for bigotry, hatred, and people that willingly choose to aid those who continue to deny truth and basic humanity in the city of Gundal. I urge all city residents, including yourselves, to take a hard look at our values, stand up for each other, and vocally express outrage at this intolerable act. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Manukian. Next speaker is uh, Pauline Pachakchian followed by Robert Bunyatian. Hello, honorable council members and mayor. I'm also here to speak about the Americana at Brands denial of the film Architects of Denial. And um, I have been a resident of Glendale for my entire life, and I've gone to school here. I felt welcome here. However, I'm a little concerned, no, I'm a lot concerned with how Caruso thinks it's okay to cede with a foreign government who has, who has a known record of violating human rights, has jailed many of its own journalists, its own scholars, and its own academics, and over, the, over what its people wants. And the fact that Caruso affiliated thinks that it's okay to tell Armenians and the Armenian American community and the people that have made this film possible that, oh, architect, Architects of Denial is too political, so we are going to silence the truth, a historical reality, and instead listen to what the Turkish consulate says we should do, so we should, the fact that Caruso affiliated thinks that that is okay is extremely concerning in 2017 when we have things like Charlottesville happening and we have people waving around Nazi flags, and we are allowing people to propagate these ideas which oppress and essentially murder. And I could talk about how this is an Armenian issue. I could talk about how I am the descendant of seven Armenian genocide victims and that my own existence today is one that sh could not have happened. I am here against all odds. But for me, I, I don't understand how it's okay to do this. And you guys are the representatives of the citizens of this municipality, and you need to protect what your people want. And what your people want is to know that their representatives care about human rights, and their representatives are not going to give into corporate considerations over human rights. And this is exactly what is going on here, and this is why Americans are fed up. This is why we have problems all over the country, is that people feel that corporations can Cons uh, consider profit and not human rights issues. And um, I think there needs to be a boycott of the Americana at Brand until they consider that what their actions are not, um, are not appropriate and that they need to be held accountable for, once again, choosing profit and 
cooperating with a foreign government that is guilty of human rights violations and has still not admitted their own genocide. And until Crusoe Affiliated does that, they need to be, A, pressured by you guys through laws or ordinances, and B, boycotted by the public, not just the Armenian American community, because this is not an Armenian issue, this is a human issue, this isn't a Glendale issue, this isn't an Yerevan issue, this is, this is a human rights issue. This is why we're having problems all over the world is because we are allowing corporations, we are allowing money to silence fact. And, and I'm urging the council to um, move on this issue because, like I said, fact and historical reality take precedence over profit and <coughs> corporate considerations. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, Robert Huniatian. And here, uh, Garo Azarian. Followed by Preni Alaverdian. Honorable Mayor, City Council members, Mr. City Manager, good evening. First, let me thank the City Manager for taking a phone call from my colleague with the Armenian Bar Association and I a few days ago uh, and hearing our concerns. To many extent, uh, perhaps I am preaching to the choir here because I've seen each and every one of you every year on April 24th marching for justice with the rest of us. And only two short years ago, 166,000 of us. Now, I don't think that when we were marching, we were marching for an issue. So when I read a letter from Caruso affiliated from Mr. Levy or Ms. Levy, I don't know the gender of the individual, and frankly, it doesn't matter. When I read a letter that contains the word issue, issue five times in one letter, political issue, international political issue, this issue, this issue. The last time I checked, the last time every one of you checked, we didn't think of it as an issue. I don't think any one of us march on April 24 for an issue. We march for a historical fact. So yes, I am preaching to the choir, but I want the choir, I respectfully and humbly ask of the choir to be loud, very loud, in its disdain for the very act, the city-sanctioned act, that every year is held at the Alex Theater, the Armenian Genocide Commemoration, the historical fact of the Armenian Genocide, not an issue, not some politically driven issue, and certainly not labeling it as a, we want to be fair to the community, and we've heard from the leaders of the Armenian community, including the Turkish consulate. Since when was the Turkish consulate a leader in this community? I dare say half the population of the city are proud American Armenians, and we are proud of the fact that we are Americans, and we will never forget that we are descendants of Armenians who ended up here, who ended up here not by happenstance, but because our ancestors were butchered and those who were remained, they sought refuge in this country. They sought refuge in this land of freedom and opportunity and fairness. And what part of it is it fair to allow an entity, a corporate citizen of this city that has benefited from our city's resources, from our, from our patriotism and our, and our patronage, to come and lecture to us, to a city that holds the Armenian Genocide as a city-sanctioned event every year? So when one of you or two of you or more of you take the podium on the Alex Theater on April 24, please ask yourself, are you speaking on behalf of an issue? I know you're not. You're speaking on behalf of a historical fact, and I ask you to keep the citizen of this city, that patron, that corporate citizen, very, very aware of that because we will not, we will not take this and just turn the other cheek. And I know you won't either. Thank you very much. Thank you. <clears throat> Next speaker is uh, Freni Alaverdian. Followed by Harut Sasunian. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, uh, city council members, and city staff. My name is Preni Oliverdian, and I'm a resident of the city of Glendale. Let me begin by saying this. 
The Armenian Genocide is a historical fact that is recognized by the state of California, the Los Angeles County, and the city of Glendale. Recently, the Americana described the placing of a billboard about a genocide documentary as being too political. Because, um, excuse me. However, placing the billboard in the Americana cannot be too political because the city, county, and the state have all taken a stance on the historical fact. By attempting to silence the topic on Americana grounds, the Americana management is colluding with the Turkish lobby and therefore being too political themselves. Furthermore, the Americana stated that they were reluctant to place the billboard because they believed that it would cause certain people to feel unwelcomed. Since when did raising awareness for human rights make people feel unwelcomed? But do you know what will really make Glendale's massive Armenian community feel unwelcomed? The fact that Americana is perpetuating the gag rule established by the Turkish lobby to silence and stifle the truth. As an Armenian American resident of Glendale and an active member in our community, I urge to see the city take action. Placing this billboard will be an act of decency and respect to human rights everywhere. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker is uh, Harut Sasunian. Followed by Huran Wartsbedian. Honorable Mayor, members of the City Council, good evening. Two weeks ago when I appeared in front of you on the same, raising the same issue, I made a very mild and polite suggestion at the time, asking that the City Council use its good, good services to intervene on this issue with the, with the uh, American executives. Unfortunately, since then, there's been back and forth some communication between Americana and the Armenian community. And in every instance, Americana has been acting very arrogantly, looking down at the community, ignoring the letters of its major organization in Glendale, the Armenian National Committee. And they have been totally insensitive not only now, but in the past. We know the T-shirt issue three years ago. And at that time, they issued a apology calling it a misunderstanding. But it turns out that it was not a misunderstanding, that Americana has a ongoing uh, practice and approach to the Armenian genocide, which is negative. And in, in the letter they wrote to the, uh, by Jackie Levy, the general manager of Americana, uh, she wrote a letter to the producers of the documentary. And in there, she is making an equivalent between the Armenian community in Glendale and the Turkish consulate, which represent a fascist regime that violates every human right of its own citizens. And by doing so, Americana is equating the murderer with the, with the victim. This is totally unacceptable. And I know you have a meeting with the American executives tomorrow. I, I hope you are very tough on them. And I hope that <clears throat> this is an issue that can be swept under the rug. Even if they allow the advertising, that's not the end issue. That's, that's, that has now a minor issue. The real issue is the behavior and the insensitivity of Americana towards the Armenian community. And in, in their letters, in their past actions, there seems to be a serious problem they have with the Armenian community and Armenian genocide. We need to get to the bottom of this. Otherwise, we're going to be back here a few months from now on a different issue, and we're going to start all over again. I think this time, the city council has to be very tough. The community is committed to be tough. There'll be pickets, there'll be boycotts, and we're gonna urge the community not to shop there, not to go there, and we hope that uh, this, this all ends up peacefully with, with uh, reason prevailing, which is something lacking, and ironically, Americana is executives 
are taking an action which is contrary to their own business interests, one would think that uh, seeing a large Armenian community and a large number of shoppers of Armenian origin there, that they would be more sensitive, they would try to find a, a paper over the, the difference and find a solution. But no, just the opposite. They just wrote a letter to the producers restating that this is a, a documentary that's too political, that it's an international issue. The funny part is that the billboard is on the outside wall of Colorado Avenue. So if, if there's anything offensive, which there isn't, to the uh, shoppers whom Americana believes that they should enjoy themselves rather than be faced with political issues, well, none of the shoppers that attend Americana will see this billboard. The only people that will see this billboard are the ones driving on Colorado, which is outside of Americana. So their, their whole position is uh, upsetting, shameful, and based on a lie. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Sassoonian. Uh, next speaker is Sharon Wiseman, followed by Laura. I'm not going to even try pronouncing the last name. Maybe I should try. Yeridu. Uh, thank you, Mayor Garpetian and uh, City Council. My name is Sharon Weissman from Far North Glendale, and I, I didn't uh, intend to speak tonight, um, but I've been inspired. Um, I agree with the previous speakers uh, regarding Americana not accepting an ad, and it reminds me of recent um, news of uh, Turkish security guards assaulting American citizens exercising their First Amendment rights in America, and I'm appalled that Caruso would side with that. And um, one of the reasons I chose to speak is that Bill and I recently, this afternoon, visited an exhibit uh, regarding another incident of man's inhumanity to man. It's called Only the Oaks Remain. It's in Tahunga at Bolton Hall. It's uh, regarding the Tuna Camp Detention Station where uh, after Pearl Harbor, Americans of Japanese ancestry and legal uh, green card holders of Japanese ancestry and a few Italian and uh, German were interred. And um, this exhibit is sponsored by the National Park Service and the Japanese American Confinement Sites Grant. And I urge anyone who's concerned about these, these kinds of issues to go see it. There's only one chance left to see it. It was extended already, and the last time is uh, Sunday, August 20th, uh, from 1 to 4 p.m. It's at Bolton Hall, which is in Tahunga, uh, 10110 Commerce Avenue in Tahunga, and I urge you to go see that. It's got a lot of, of interesting um, depictions of what happened. A lot of what they talk about is how did this happen in America, and I think that's very timely to read and listen ab about what was going on. And it's a, it's a definite reminder that basing public policy on ethnicity is always <coughs> a wrong idea. And people need to speak up because history does keep repeating itself. Um, I'm, uh, one of the women that um, is a docent there was a child growing up in Tahunga when Tuna Camp was active. And as a little girl, her parents told her, don't look. Don't look when you drive by. That you, you know, too, too, too bad. We don't want to think about war. We don't want to think about locking up people. And this is a facility where the fathers mostly were locked up. Women and children to visit them were not allowed to speak Japanese. So often at the fence, the father was inside, the mother was outside, and a minor child was translating because they had to be speaking in English. And I think we should stop this trend, and I think we need to teach our children to look. And we need to teach our children to learn what's going on, and to speak up, and uh, to vote. And um, I urge you again, check out this uh, exhibit. It's very moving. It's very powerful. It's moving to Oregon next week, so now's your chance. And 
And of course, we all hope to save that golf course eventually, and maybe it will have a permanent home right where the oaks remain, and they are the only ones that are still there that when the Japanese internment uh, prisoners were, were staged there. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Next speaker is Laura. My, my colleague is telling me it's Yeretsian, but I, I debate that as to it's not written Yeretsian, but Laura I'll win this debate. <laughs> Good evening. This yes, year? my name is Lara Yeretsian, and yeah. I am a former resident of Glendale and a business owner in Glendale. And I have to admit, I'm probably at the Americana brand at least twice a week, either alone on a business <laughs> meeting or a lunch, or with my kids, either shopping or buying books or reading or enjoying myself. But I have to admit, after I found out about what the Americana executives did recently, I don't feel welcome anymore at the Americana, and I have not stepped foot at that place, and I will boycott that place. And we all have been hearing about statues being toppled down in other states. I can tell you, this community, the community in Glendale, including the Armenian community in Glendale, is going to pull that imaginary rope and bring down some of these executives from their high pedestals to face us and apologize to us for being participants in the denial of the Armenian genocide. This is the same community that was a staunch supporter of the project itself. It was through this community that Americana at Brand actually exists, and everybody has been enjoying it. So how ironic for the same corporation, for Caruso Affiliates today, to turn their backs on their same supporters, the same people who fill up that place. Not, it's not only that they supported it to start with and at its inception, they keep on going back. They're the people who are there. They're the ones financially supporting it. How could they and how dare they do something like this? The last place I would have expected this kind of treatment on an important issue like this that's so close to everybody's hearts is the, is the Americana brand. Shame on them. Uh, I would really urge and expect this council to take some action. And urge them, pass some kind of a resolution, <coughs> urge them to take, uh, change their position on this issue and to allow space for a genocide movie as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Next speaker is Hrant Wartsbedian. <coughs> Honorable Mayor, uh, City Council members, uh, I'm here for the same issue as well. I'm a resident and a business owner in Glendale. I also represent the Armenian General Benevolent Union. I'm speaking here on behalf of the chair, uh, Ms. Talin Yakubian, who couldn't be here today, uh, voicing our concern with the rest of the Armenian community about this incident. Uh, but we'd like to focus on the fact that the Americana is a business magnet. It's an important part of business in Glendale. But Glendale is the boss, the city council, rules the city of Glendale. We believe you will do the right thing in urging them to reconsider right from wrong. There is no gray zones in the Armenian genocide. It's right or wrong. And we believe in you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Next speaker is John. I don't know how to read your last name. Bandel? Bandel? No. That one, you, you get a free pass because you knew her. Ardu. Bandel. Van Deck. <laughs> Is it a K? Hey. It's, a, it's, it's a VI, it's not a K. Anyways, go ahead, Mr. Van Deck. Good evening, Mayor Garpetian, honorable council members, and all who are present here tonight concerning the Americana at Brands Management rejecting the request to advertise the film Architects of Denial on their billboard. My name is John Van Deck, and to the, tonight I would like to voice my opinion on this decision for it solemnly and sadly portrays the Americana's insensitivity towards the Armenian community in Glendale. Americana's statement that the architects of denial advertisement would quote unquote be too political illustrates the Americana's utter lack of respect to nearly half of the population of Glendale, whose ancestors were among the 1.5 million Armenians murdered during the Armenian genocide. Ladies and gentlemen, the Armenian genocide is a humanitarian and a moral issue that, as uh, Prenny Oliverian uh, mentioned earlier, is recognized by the city of Glendale, the Los Angeles County, the state of California, and 42 other states in the nation, and is not a political issue. 
In fact, denying the architects of denial advertisement is like denying advertisement space to any genocide or Holocaust film, like Schindler's List, The Diary of Anne Frank, or even Ghosts of Rwanda. It is very saddening to see that the Americano, a building project that was supported by many Armenians back in 2004, has now turned its back to the Armenian community. Many Armenians value the Americana as an accessible center for shopping and dining, but as shown through the Americana's message, the Americana does not place the same values on the Armenians that use its amenities. The purpose of a billboard is to bring attention to pedestrians, drivers, and cyclists who are passing by. Although the billboard advertisement of Architects of Denial will not bring attention to those passing by due to it being denied, that same exact billboard will bring attention to everyone in Glendale once they pass by because they'll forever be remembered about Americana's insensitivity towards the Armenian community. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next speaker is Aram Adamian, followed by Ellen Asterian. Honorable Mayor, uh, City Councilman, good evening. My name is Aram Adamian. I am a Glendale resident. and. I'm a concerned Armenian citizen of Glendale, and I wanted to voice my opinion on the billboard advertisement denial of the Architects of Denial documentary. And I find it very intolerable that Americana is denying this billboard advertisement and stopping awareness of the Armenian genocide. And it's ironic because Ameri more, half, more than half of Americana's consumers, visitors, are Armenian, are residents of Glendale. And it's, it's not just disappointing, it's embarrassing that they would do something like this knowing that without the support of Armenians in Glendale, Americana might not have been built, might not have been um, constructed, might not be here today. And it's, um, I'm urging all of you to please um, do something about this and end it. Thank you. Thank you. Helen Austrian, followed by Robert Bunyatian. Good evening, Honorable Mayor, City Council members. My name is Alan Asatrian. I'm a resident of the city of Glendale. I was actually not planning on speaking today, and I think you've heard really all the different angles uh, as it pertains to this issue on the Americana. But I felt like uh, there's a personal responsibility I have here to speak today because I was actually part of the campaign staff in 2004 uh, on the Yes on ABC side. I remember our phone scripts, I remember our walk scripts, I remember how the whole theme of what was called the Glendale Town Center, that was the original name for the Americana, was based on the mere fact that there was gonna be a place that everybody would feel included. Um, it would actually, it was supposed to have two towers of low-income housing, which I'm still waiting to see, I remember the, the scripts including something about a playground that we had before uh, that we no longer have. It's actually been changed to a bar. Um, and I'd like to know how the city is actually, and our residents are actually benefiting from the funds that are being made through that bar that no longer is a place for our children to play in, and a wonderful green space right in the middle. So. I am, I could honestly say that I am livid at this issue, not just as an Armenian American, uh, who is also a descendant of an Armenian genocide survivor, not as someone just who cares about human rights issues and the fact that this place, my city, uh, is no place for denial, not just for the Armenian genocide, but any kind of genocide or hate. Um, so I urge you to please reconsider. I prefer that you also look into the documents uh, from the original um, plans that we had, and for you to take a look at why some of those concepts that were uh, talking points and points of purpose that encouraged the community to come out and vote uh, have not been implemented all these years. I appreciate your time. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you. Next speaker, last one that I have is Robert Bunyatian, if he's here. No? Okay, I have no more cards. Uh, or communication is closed. We usually do not uh, interact or, or go back and forth on, or comment on the public, public uh, oral communication, but I don't know if my colleagues wanna make a 
make a statement or not, or have any comments or I'd, not? I'd, I'd like to make a brief statement, Mayor. I'd like to make a brief statement. Very okay. brief. I'll keep Very it brief good. because we've, uh, uh, we've heard a lot. I want to thank all the speakers uh, for being here tonight. Um, I've been sincerely moved by all of you, your heartfelt words, thoughtful comments, sometimes emotional, but, but always uh, meaningful. Uh, I would like um, to, uh, to suggest that the council um, take some sort of immediate and appropriate and especially legal um, steps to remedy this situation. Um, I understand, I, I feel uh, the compassion in our speakers. I understand um, what they're saying. And I, and I do believe that, that we should um, take a stand. Okay. Thank you. Councilmember Najari. Um, if, if that's a request to agendize this item so we could talk about it, um, I would support that. There's a lot of issues that were raised. Um, one of them being that, uh, well, I mean, <clears throat> there's a history to this. Uh, I think the problem here is not the crime but the cover-up. Uh, Caruso would be legally prohibited from placing a sign advertising a product that's not sold in the Americana, as my understanding is. I will defer to the city attorney at such time when we discuss this to give us a clear uh, explanation about what those rules are and then at that time decide what we want to do. Uh, I'm not saying there was nothing wrong done. I think there was a lot of wrong things done. Maybe discuss it at that time and go through a list of uh, options from a, a letter to a resolution to a more formal action, whatever we want to do. But um, I don't want to violate the Brown Act. There's a lot to be said, and, uh, right. and maybe some more information added to that would help the discussion. Mm -hmm. Council Member um, <coughs> Yeah, that whole ordinance thing, I'm, I'm wondering, as I walk by the Americana, I see advertisements of hospitals, of services, nothing that they sell, has nothing that has anything to do with the Americana. And somehow, miraculously, that's not a problem. And a movie that is not to be shown there is, I question it very highly. I've read that ordinance. I don't think it has any bearing on any of this. But I guess we'll visit that issue when it's in front of us as an agendized item. In fact, the, what the moral thing would be to do would, would be to organize a screening of the movie at the Americana because it's the right thing to do. And because there's a concentration of Armenian Americans who are directly impacted by the Armenian genocide in the city of Glendale. And yet, even the advertisement is denied. So I want to thank everyone who came and spoke today. I'm not going to keep it short. Um, I want to thank especially, especially, and I'll name them one by one, Mike Mohill, Anthony Portantino, our senator, Alex Wu, Michael jo uh, Ma uh, Malcolm Johnson, and Sharon Wiseman for uh, speaking up on this issue, although they don't bear sort of the historic memory um, of the genocide. They don't bear that, that stigma, that, that uh, trauma, moral, moral trauma. But they do commiserate, they do relate. And interestingly, each one of them represents a group that has underwent some kind of a major, major historical human crime. With Mike Mohill and Sharon Wiseman, it's uh, the memory of the genocide. And if it's not with Sharon, it's, it's with Bill, I'm sure. With Anthony, with Anthony Portantino, he's just He's just an elected official who does the right thing. And from what I know, he's the only, only elected official outside of Glendale that has <coughs> taken a position on this. Alex Wu, the comfort women. Remember the comfort women when that issue came to, to council, whether we wanted the statue in Glendale or not. The vote was four to one. And four members unequivocally supported it because it was the right thing to do. And because, yes, because we do have a considerable Korean-American community in the city of Glendale, so there is a direct relevance to Glendale. And Malcolm Johnson, uh, a uh, descendant of uh, African-Americans uh, who became African-Americans despite their will uh, be, by being enslaved and kidnapped and being carried to the uh, New World. I, you know, there's so many ironies in this. I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I, you know, like many of the speakers, I can't believe we're having this, this conversation today. I can't believe it. I can't believe it's happening in Glendale. Two years ago, three years ago when I was mayor, there was an issue in the city of Carson. Um, at the uh, suggestion and 
financial encouragement of the government of Turkey and the Turkish consulate, surprise, surprise, uh, the city of Carson was considering putting up a statue of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, a man who took on the mantle of the leader, of the dictator of the, uh, of the Turkish Republic uh, right after the Ottoman Empire collapsed and carried out the, the last stage of the gen the active stage of the genocide. Obviously, there was outrage from the Armenian American community, and I went to the city of Carson and stood there at the podium and pleaded with the city council uh, about not allowing this to happen, how it's just unconscionable, it's not the right thing to do. And the whole time I'm thinking, how can this be happening so close to an epicenter of, of the Armenian American community? It's just so, you know, it's LA, LA County, it's just so close, it's surreal. And yet it was happening, and now it's, surprise, surprise, happening in Glendale. And um, another irony, that the movie that, that's being rejected, the advertisement of the movie that's being rejected is about architects of denial, denial being denial of genocide, according to uh, all genocide scholars, um, is the last stage of genocide. So, so long as denial is ongoing, genocide is active. So in, in other words, the documentary is about the Caruso affiliates and about Americana. It's about denial of genocide. <clears throat> and it's happening here in Glendale today. Um, the word genocide is not used in this letter in one place. When, you know, when two weeks ago Harut Sasunyan came and spoke about this, I, I said, you know, I'm very disturbed by it. But I'm thinking, okay, well, this is going to clear out. There's going to be some kind of uh, an explanation. There's some overzealous, insensitive, and, and very ignorant employee who, who simply rejected it, not knowing what they were doing. Turns out, no, this is an institutional decision made by them. And I can't describe it as anything other than utter disrespect for the Armenian community, absolutely disrespectful. I'll tell you, to me as an Armenian who is a descendant of genocide survivors on both sides, not, nothing gets me as you know excited as much as, as this issue because this is, I mean, this is too close, just too close. You know, I, I'm thinking Americana, it, if it endorses or if it, if it endorses genocide denial, then it endorses genocide. If it endorses genocide, that means that I am, I am threatened. I am, I am at, in danger in the Americana. That's how I interpreted it. I think any sane person who has any sense of self-preservation will interpret it the same way. And yes, and since I found out about this, I have not stepped foot there, and I will not until this, this issue is clarified, and clarified um, unequivocally, unequivocally, very directly, and by the uh, top, the most, uh, the upper tier, up, upper echelon of the leadership at that institution. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Singer. Councilman Alexander? Yes. I want to thank everybody who came forward and spoke today, whether Armenians, Armenian Americans, and non-Armenians. I really appreciate you came forward and you spoke about this. I mean, I'm really surprised. They were saying Mr. Crusoe is this big businessman. Look at this, for such a small item, what he has, a chaos he has created. And more importantly, there is this letter written by Crusoe uh, Company, as has been mentioned before, somebody by name of Jackie Levy. Okay. And it's so insulting. We cannot weigh in on international political issues. So Mr. Crusoe and the group joining the deniers of genocide. So this is, I mean, they are the judge, they are the jury, and they are the executioner. So they know everything. So they just, in the middle of this city, 50% uh, of residents of Glendale, they are Armenians. But now I have to give a small history, because I was here. Some, they joined Mr. Crusoe to help him to construct what he has done. But I will tell you the truth. So what happened at that time? It has been mentioned that 77,100,000 land has been purchased by city of Glenda. And that was me who was asking how much we spend, 
how much it cost to have that land. Because I was chairman of the Armenian Society of Los Angeles, our property was right in the middle of it. So I was involved with this for a long time. That 77,100,000 is not correct. One may have to go back. When I ask how much this cost, they gave that figure. And city was buying the properties. This is the most precious land in Glendale. We do not have more valuable land than what you see. We have three major streets, Brand, Colorado, and Central. We do not have more important streets than those three. This is unique property. And at that time, I mean, since 1980s, I can't remember when the city started to purchase the land around where the Americana is. It's 15 and a half acres. And out of that 15 acres, what you see there, all the footprints of the buildings, they gave it to Mr. Crusoe. Four feet under the park has been the deed was turned to Mr. Crusoe. But the park and the street left out because he was smart. He wanted to see the city to maintain that. And as I said, those properties has been purchased between 1985 and 2003. And one may should go back and see, at that time they said 7 million and 100,000. But we have to see at that time market value. How much was the market value? Because city was buying the properties during the 20 years or so. As if you buy a land now, and they give you a land now which is purchased in 1996. So compare the property value in 1996 until now. And now you give that land which you bought in 1996 to somebody else. So one may should go back and see in reality, how much that property worth it at that time. Two, at 2004, after the, uh, this uh, AVC was for the vote of public and they voted with 50.2%, the C became 50.2%, they said yes, 49.8%, they said no. Mr. Crusoe, at that time, there was a tire shop, those who were living here. There was tire shop corner of Brand and Colorado. And while the city was trying to buy the land, they did not want to sell the land. So afterward, after he received all those properties, he had the chance uh, to convince the owner of the land to sell the property. And he bought it for $2 million. They went to escrow. They went to escrow and city jumped in and put the name, Mr. Lanza testified to that. City went in, took the name of the Mr. Crusoe out and paid for that two million or uh, so. So it's not just 77 million, there are other issues there too. City took like 48 million bond and we still, I think, that's why I wanna ask uh, not to be mistaken that we are still paying like approximately $3,200,000 in interest for the same property which you see there. And as I said, uh, this was two weeks ago or whenever it was, I said, I want to know, and we were told that we are partners with Mr. Crusoe after 12 and three quarter percent after he takes the first benefit or profit, then the balance we will share 50-50. I want to see how much we benefited all those years. How much we received from Mr. Crusoe while he's making millions of dollars. I want to see how much the city made. The second thing I asked before and I repeat, how much we spend on the park, that park land which belongs to the city. I want to see how much we are spending all these years. The third, which I said before, I repeat now. What was the park size in the contract and what Mr. is remaining from it now? Mr. Anjan, I want yes. to thank you for this detailed information. This item is being agendized for, okay. for the future but to I come. I want to add to those. Everything will come to yes. us, 
And if you have any more comments about the, 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 the concern of the, of the speakers? No, I think please. everybody said everything. Yeah. I just, uh, I feel so bad we came to this point that people, they have to come and uh, express their grievance for no reason. Thank right. you. Thank you. Well, I want to thank everyone for coming here tonight as well. Um, our community wanted Americana. We voted for it. The Armenian American community voted for this for this development to be uh, to be developed and move forward with. <coughs> All we were asking was an advertising space, and the way this was handled was I'm shocked and offended the way, with the way this was handled. Yes, on that corner, by our ordinances, you cannot advertise anything other than the businesses that are in Americana. But instead of saying, look, we can't advertise it there, but we have all these advertising spaces inside the Americana that many of their businesses, I don't want to name any, any business, they are advertising in those spaces. Instead of saying, we can uh, give you one of these spaces or five of these spaces instead of the one outside that we cannot by the ordinance or by legally we can give it to you. Instead of taking that route, they take, took the route that it was very offending. And as a mayor, I'm really offended by this. And it's for the people who, who really welcomed them, who really voted for them to be in our city. This is a historical fact that was mentioned. It's not an issue. It's a human rights issue. Uh, instead of doing the right, right thing, they, they took the, a very wrong, very wrong path. And I, I want to have this to come back to be agendized. We want to talk about every, every item that there is, about the contracts that we have, the size of the park, and everything else. And council member, uh, Sinalian mentioned city of Carson, and one thing that was mentioned there was if the, the council allowed the, the erection of or, or placement of the the, uh, the statue of the Ataturk, we were going to purchase and donate a, 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 a statue of Hitler to be installed next to it. That was the, 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 the fact. And I think this is a uh, very that, diverse that, community. Sorry, that, let me just because that's very sensitive. Yeah, I know. I, so I, I, I said if you intend to put up Ataturk's statue there, you may as well put up Pol Pot right. and Hitler's statue next to him because they're of the same caliber. Right. But we, so, we're not going to donate anything, not Hitler, well, anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, again, I, I, I want this to come back. I want to thank you all for coming today. This, this is really uh, troubling. To all of us, and this this uh, issue this issue will be, will be resolved. This issue will be resolved. And just to add to our report that we're getting, please include any other entity or business that refused that were asked to do an advertising, but refused the the advertising. We know Americana was asked; they refused. Include any other business that was asked and refused, if there are any. I don't know. I don't. I mean, this is. It's all coming to light as we move forward. Okay. Thank you. We're going to take a, a two minutes recess if uh, just to, if they want to clear the room.